We are at Royal Papworth Hospital based in Cambridge in the UK. We're one of five transplant centres in the UK and we're lucky to have a relationship with uh, Gibraltar where we can bring patients over. It must be terribly difficult for Gibraltarians coming to the UK. It's a long way and for transplantation particularly, they have to move, move with their family, their loved ones to stay in the UK because of course when we're waiting for a transplant, we, time is of an essence and you couldn't wait to bring somebody from Gibraltar to the UK because that would take too long. So uh, Lewis came and actually stayed in our village, Papworth village, and located there for as long as it took to find him a heart. Actually, he deteriorated and it meant that we had to admit him into the hospital to increase the level of support he required and so we were able to list him urgently and that meant his total time waiting was actually reduced to several weeks rather than the months or years it might take for somebody who's waiting on the routine waiting list for a heart transplant so his total stay in the UK was perhaps slightly less than other patients might be and we were able to establish after six months that he was doing so wonderfully well no signs of any real problems that meant he could return to Gibraltar earlier than we would normally expect. Most patients would need to stay for a, a year in the UK before being able to travel overseas. So that was really, really good for him. And the transplantation, the, 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 the whole uh, practice of transplantation must have evolved loads with the, the advancement of medicine. So we have done uh, a world first in many ways. We've taken hearts from patients whose hearts have actually stopped. Um, the legal definition of donation after circulatory death means that the heart has stopped for five minutes. And then we are able to take various organs for use in transplantation at that point. But that had never been done for the heart before. And so using new technology, using uh, what we call a heart in a box, where the heart is restarted, beating body temperature with blood, with oxygen, with nutrients, we've been able to prove the concept that we can take those hearts that previously had never been used and successfully transplant them. And last night we did patient number 56, and we've done more than anywhere else in the world by quite a long way, so our experience is building and building and building.